In a previous video, I've shown you how to download a pickle file from Runway, um, but in some cases you actually want to do the reverse, right? Maybe you've trained a, a pickle file um, or a model on Colab or in GCP or something, and for whatever reason you want to bring it into Runway, maybe to use the new interpolation easing methods they have or to build a hosted model. Um, now, you used to be able to sort of like, uh, if you could find the repo that um, Runway had built their model on, you could go and fork that, and then you could clone it, and then you could bring it into Runway. Um, for whatever reason, I actually haven't seen the StyleGAN 2 repo um, that Runway uses publicly. Um, for whatever reason, maybe I just missed it, or um, they're not making it available now, which is within the right. So you can't really do that, and I wouldn't really recommend trying to rewrite um, the StyleGAN library in Runway and then bring it in yourself. But there is um, a really simple way to actually use um, the StyleGAN 2 library with your own custom models. So we're going to look at that um, in this video. So uh, this video assumes that, like, basically there's one thing you need with this, which is that you've already trained a model inside of Runway. So if you've only ever done training on Colab um, or in GCP or somewhere else, and you're trying to, like, skip on training inside Runway, um, you will have to do, like, some sort of faux training inside Runway. One really e easy way to do that would be to, like, um, create your own training model inside Runway and run it for like 500 steps, right? That would cost very little money um, and it would generate uh, what we're gonna use, which is the model file or the um, repo that we wanna use. So just be aware you do need a model that you've currently trained inside Runway in order to make this work. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the thing that you do need to do is you're gonna wanna find your own trained model. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna go to my models. And this should include a list of all of the models that I've already trained. You'll see here all of them are private. It doesn't matter if they're private or public. Um, just make sure uh, that they are is a StyleGAN 2 model. So you don't want to open up a StyleGAN 1 model. Or uh, Actually, this is kind of up to you. If you've trained a StyleGAN 1 model on Colab and you want to bring it in, make sure they match, right? You have to use StyleGAN 2 and StyleGAN 1 together. Um, or otherwise, they'll get a little bit uh, messy. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to grab the latest version of one of these alcohol ink. Uh, models I have. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to click on Edit Info. And you'll see here, um, when you go to Checkpoints, you can upload a pickle file. So all we're going to do is we're going to convert this from like a single model, um, a single trained model into like a multiple trained model. So there's a couple of things I would probably recommend doing here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to upload a pickle. This is going to take a little bit of time to upload, so why don't I just go ahead and get this started. Um, so you're going to go ahead and choose your file that you want to upload. Um, so I'm going to move in my Bone Bone. And yeah, I'll just leave this name as is. So you might want to come in here and name these to make it clear, like, you know, this is um, Bone Bone 1024. You might want to give it how long it's trained for. This is maybe like 12K. Um, you know, some sort of information about there. You could also add a description. Um, it's sort of up to you how long you, what you, how you want to edit these. So maybe I'll just leave this as this and say uh, trained for um, 12k steps. And I can go ahead and upload a preview image if I want to. I'm going to skip that for this for this uh, demo here. So we're just going to go ahead and upload this checkpoint. This is going to take a little bit of time to do. And I can, did that work? Looks like you can't exit out of it. OK, so I'm going to pause the video for a second. I'm going to upload this. Um, when it finishes uploading, I'll be back. Well, it turns out when I clicked away from that GUI in the previous time, um, it was actually still uploading. It's just the, the UI didn't show that it was still uploading. So now I have two of these model files here. I can actually go ahead and delete one of them because they're the exact same. So I'm just going to go in here and delete this one. So now I have uh, both of my files in here. Um, if we go to Overview, um, you'll see that they're still here. Um, now, now we have a uh, to, we now we have a model inside of Runway that now can contain all of our checkpoints. So actually you could go ahead and start to download all of your model files or like take all of your training from Colab and bring them into this one uh, model. This is kind of cleaner, it's a nicer way of managing stuff, um, but one thing that we have an issue here with is that our name is still referencing like only one of the training files here. So uh, it's really pretty simple to fix this. Um, we're going to go into settings and we're going to go to rename model. And um, you can't have spaces in your model name, so I'm just going to name this my underscore stylegan2. Now what's kind of nice here is now I can move all of my models that I've trained into this one model file. 
um, which is just going to make it easier for me to find it in the future. And if I go ahead and add this to my workspace, you'll see here that now over on the side, you've got multiple checkpoints, right? So, and you can actually upload them directly from here, which is cool. I didn't realize you could do that. Um, so you can upload them here as well. Um, so you can add multiple files into, the, into this single model, um, which then allows you to manage everything all in one space. Um, so this is pretty nice. I think this is a nice little trick. And honestly, this is far easier than the previous method I was showing folks, which is like working at GitHub repo, cloning it, and then like bringing it into Runway using the import model file. So this is a nice little trick um, and hope you uh, can use this in the future for all of your models. Um, have any questions, drop me a note in YouTube channel or join us on Slack. Um, and thanks for watching.